Welcome to the vendor training course, Fixing Damage Chimney Flashing. In this course, I will discuss how to repair damage flashing around a chimney. Let's begin. Before you start, make sure you have the necessary tools and materials. You should have the following, a ladder, tape measure, work gloves, pry bar, scrap wood, a hammer, replacement aluminum flashing, pre-bent is recommended, galvanized roofing nails, waterproof roof sealant, a wide flat trowel and a thinner mortar trowel, a broom, a utility knife, mortar mix, black polyurethane roof and flashing sealant, a flat utility chisel, a wire brush, a scraper, tin snips, and some clean rags. If you find an active roof leak when you first arrive at a property, you must take action immediately. An active leak is any condition where the roof does not protect the interior of the dwelling by way of water intrusion, potential water intrusion, or missing roof components jeopardize the functionality of the roof. A lack of rain at the time of inspection is not a valid reason to determine that no active leak exists at the property. The first step when an active roof leak is found is to identify the source. Start by cycling through the common sources and look for damaged, curled, or missing shingles. Be sure to check the entire roof system to include around every chimney or vent. Look for breaks in the flashing or caulking or for gaps in the lines of roof sealant. Don't forget to also check the gutters. Once the source is identified, the objective is to stop the leak in the most direct fashion possible. Check your work order for the allocated allowable amount to repair. Almost all flashing repairs can be done for the established allowable. If you find damaged metal flashing around a chimney or dormer, you should first inspect and remove any loose dirt or debris from the area. A wire brush is good to use to do this. Also, hammer down any raised nail heads so that they are flat. You may need to add a few more roofing nails to secure the flashing. Then, apply roof sealant with a trowel or putty knife to the areas that look worn or cracked. Apply the sealant liberally, covering the questionable areas completely. If there are any exposed nail heads in the flashing, cover them with roof sealant as well. If you see thin spots or gaps along a flashing joint, spread roof sealant over the entire joint, applying it generously with the trowel. The flashing edge should be covered completely with an even bead of flashing sealant applied with a caulk gun. In some cases, you will need to re-secure the flashing around a chimney. Chimney flashing is installed in two parts, the base, which covers the bottom of the chimney and extends onto the roof, and the cap, which is fitted between the mortar joint of the chimney bricks. If the mortar holding the cap flashing is crumbling, or if the flashing has pulled loose, you will have to re-secure the flashing. The first step to re-securing the flashing is to pull the lip of the cap flashing out of the mortar joint, only as far as it comes easily. Do not yank the entire flashing out or pull it completely away from the chimney. The less you have to separate it, the easier it will be to fix. Next, with the flashing out of the mortar joint, clean out the old mortar with a hammer and chisel. Then, use a wire brush on the joint to clean out stone dust and debris, being careful not to damage the flashing. After all debris is removed, wet the joint with a paintbrush dipped in water. Then, with a small trowel, fill the joint firmly with prepared mortar mix. Once the joint is full, press the lip and the flashing firmly back into the mortar as it was before. When the joint is completely cured, caulk around it and over the lip of the cap flashing. The joint at the base of the chimney must be sealed. If you can see gaps at the roof line, caulk around the base of the chimney with roof sealant in a caulking gun. I hope you found this course to be helpful. To learn more about repairing roof damages at a property, view our other damage courses.